We begin our bulletin this afternoon at the office of the Inspector General of Police, David Kimayo, who insists that the media is going overboard in exposing issues concerning terror in Kenya. KTN's Patrick Amimo now joins us live on phone. Uh, Patrick, what is the police chief saying, especially with regard to the Westgate Mall siege? I understand he gave a very comprehensive update on where investigations have reached. Uh, thank you so much, David, of the studio. Uh, personally, the, the Inspector General of Police, David Kimayo, has just uh, uh, finished briefing the media, especially on the security update of the way to get uh, his um, terror attack. Uh, so far, and he says that uh, the police are only eight principal suspects in custody, and they might be uh, appearing before the court to face charges related to terror attack with the Westgate Mall. Now, the other aspect that also that came out from the Inspector General speech was that it appears uh, the security agencies are a bit uncomfortable with the way the media reported uh, on the Westgate. Mm. Uh, especially, he singled out our investigative uh, uh, service, the digital payroll and inside story, which appeared to have robbed uh, him or maybe some of his uh, the top security uh, the wrong way. And they're saying that, uh, they're saying that though the, the Constitution provides uh, freedom for the media, it says there are limitations. And it, it says that uh, it appears to him, he says that the stories were done uh, maybe to provoke or incite and reporting things like hate speech. And he says that uh, now probably some some reports, some journalists might be required to report statements with the police. Um, all right, Amimo, you've just indicated that he wasn't pleased with what um, the media has been showing, and you've mentioned specifically the inside story and Jichopevu. Did he say in what regard, or did he, did he just not like the fact that the public is being informed? Indeed, he just he just is 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 uh, is quoting things to do with the uh, provoke provoking, inciting, and hate speech. These are, the, these are the, some of the words he's using to say maybe the, the media went overboard when it came to report on the, to give what was happening on the ground and investigations, what, what the media asked during the, the, in, in the course of the investigation. So right. to him, he says there are certain matters that are security related, which um, maybe he feels uh, might not have been uh, exposed by the media. Uh, to show, I mean, yeah. It is. Speaking of media, Amimo, yesterday we did see the international press reporting that Samantha Luthwaite might have possibly lived in Nairobi for quite a long time prior to the attack. I understand that the Inspector General denied any knowledge of this. Yeah, to that particular question with a white widow, uh, the Inspector General says is not, the police are not aware of a presence in the city of Nairobi for at least seven months as it's been reported. It says, what he says is that uh, what they know is that she is a wanted, a, a wanted uh, criminal and the police are in touch with the Interpol. And so far, uh, the charges, the crime they want her over is to do with what she did in Mombasa in 2011. 20, That's why police want her arrested and charged with, uh, with crime she committed in Mombasa down to area. But with regard to her stay in Nairobi, the Inspector General says the police do not have such intelligence, intelligence reports, but says anybody with information on her whereabouts can alert the police. Uh, Amimo, I'm just curious as to whether he did respond to the specific footage that we saw from Sky News yesterday showing them speaking to even security guards who claimed that Samantha was indeed in Nairobi. Did he respond at all to that? Indeed he was. Indeed, it was categorical that the police are not aware of these uh, white, the, the white, some months of pressure in the city. All right. Thank you very much, Patrick Amimo. He is at the office of the Inspector General of Police, David Kimayo, who has just concluded a press briefing on matters security, giving an update of the Westgate Mall siege investigations and saying that he is concerned with the way the media is, ha is going about this um, whole thing, saying that the media might have possibly overstepped their mandate. We'll definitely follow up on that story and give you more details in subsequent bulletin. Right now, though, to maternal health issues.